Hello everyone. Welcome to the Blue Cube YouTube channel. In this video, I'll teach you one of the new and exciting features of Moho 14, which can be very helpful in animation. First, I'll create a path using the Add Point tool. I'll hold the Shift key to create a straight line. Next, I'll add several points along the path and then use the Transform Points tool to move these points up or down. After creating the line, I'll draw an ellipse. You can choose any other shape you like. If needed, use the Select Shape tool to change the color of the shape. I'll add a gradient to the shape. Now, using the Select Points tool, I'll select all the points of the shape. Then, I'll transfer the shape to the path so the path aligns around the shape. To do this, I'll select all the points of the shape with the Select Points tool. Then click on the path once using the Curve Profile tool. This will make the path we created appear around the shape. If I now use the Selection tool to modify the path, the changes will reflect on the edges of the shape. Using this method, we can create very complex shapes. Don't forget, since our path doesn't have a stroke, it won't appear in the final render, so you don't need to worry about it. Now I'll select this path with the Transform tool and move it to the corner. After making these changes, we can create an interesting animation. I'll select the Curve Profile tool and adjust the repeat value of the path to achieve the desired shape. Additionally, by using the Offset option, I can animate the edges of the shape. Note that the rotation doesn't occur inside the shape. Only the edges rotate. Now, by changing the offset value and adding keyframes on the timeline, I'll create an animation. At frame 0, I'll set the offset to 0. I'll hit the play button so you can see the animation. Without knowing this technique, we wouldn't have been able to create this animation. If we want the shape to continuously move, I'll first set all the keyframes to linear to ensure the animation speed is consistent at the beginning and end. Finally, by selecting the last keyframes and choosing the cycle option, the animation will loop continuously. Well, this tutorial comes to an end here. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as well. Until the next video, goodbye for now.